What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this is a video, honestly, I'm very, very excited to talk about. I know I've been hinting at it uh, for quite, actually quite a few weeks, but I want to talk all about wands today. I want to talk about customization. I want to talk about if we're going to have to just be given a wand or if we're going to be able to pick them, if we can find them, how they're going to affect the character, and yes, the Elder Wand. I want to discuss all that in this video. Uh, really quickly, we'll do some housekeeping. We'll jump right in. When I'm recording this video, we're not at 40K yet. When you guys are seeing this video, Video, we very well could be, but if not, definitely want to get there. And even if we are, 41,000 is just as good. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you guys are not already, hit the bell icon and also join our Discord if you guys have not yet already. I know a lot of people in the Harry Potter fandom have joined it. So again, link for that, link for the Discord will be in the description below. All right, I want to save the Elder Wand to the end because I know that's going to be a hot topic, right? Uh, but I do want to talk about wands in general. So I alluded to this, or we talked a little bit about wands. Uh, uh, in the video of the things that this game needs. And uh, I think there's a, a, so much, honestly, so much potential with the wands. Now, recently on the Twitter, they talked about the whole quote, how like the wand chooses the, you know, the wizard or witch. And a lot of people took that to mean like, oh, so the game is going to just give you one. You're not going to be able to pick one. I really, honestly, I think it's not a necessity, but it's definitely an important thing to me that we get to pick our own wands. I mean, in Harry Potter, or in you know, it, I mean, yes, in the Harry Potter movies, but even in the in, you know, in the fandom. I mean, just think about how important wands are. The look of the wand. You go to Universal, and you know, you can pick wands, and you can buy all the wands, you know, that are e the you know, each individual person. And you think about the movies, or even the descriptions of them in books, or in any of the lore. I mean, wands are so detailed, and when you think of a character, like just pick a character in Harry Potter, you probably can remember what wand, or at least you know what generally what what the wand looks like so wands are so important to you know the fandom that I think to just give you one is like that's kind of lame we should be able to pick one now the question is how do you do that okay so a few things number one well they can't give everybody the same wand I really don't think that makes sense in a game where you are trying to be an individual right where my character is not the same as your character to give everybody the exact same wand even if it's like like a starting wand. I don't think that's right. Now, I saw people in that video give suggestions of like, all right, well, what do you have to do? Maybe you have to do mini games. Maybe you have to answer questions. Maybe the wand also is based off of the house. I think when it comes down to it, look, we are very excited for this game, right? I'm very excited. You guys are very excited. Uh, we are going to talk about in the future, like, are we getting too excited? But the game can't do everything, okay? I think everybody's kind of aware of that, right? It's not going to hit every expectation. I think an easier way uh, that maybe even they are doing is if you do have it where, okay, you're a Gryffindor, like every house, let's say, has uh, maybe like five to eight wand variations that you can start out in and you can pick which wand. Now, how would the wand work? Well, you know, we were talking about like, will they have gear? Will they have, uh, when you go to like classes, will you be able to like level up skills in terms of like potions or will you be, you know, I mean, or like your power level, like in terms of how skilled you are with the wand, your spell, usage, right? I think that'll be part of it. I totally think that'll be part of it. But I also think, you know, you think about a game when you start out. A lot of games like this, think about Fallout, think about a lot of Bethesda games, but think about just games in general. Sometimes you'll pick where your strengths lie, right? Maybe you're a real, maybe you're a charismatic. Maybe you're a really good, like a uh, you know persuasive person. Maybe you're very power, like you. Maybe you start out more powerful, right? So everybody, again, that's a, a very good way of making everybody different. I think the wand should absolutely have to do with it. Now, again, a game like this, I mean, is persuade is like talking. Any kind of talking skill is that going to be an important thing? I'm not sure, but for the wand, uh, again. Maybe it can boost up, and I don't know how they're necessarily going to do this, but maybe there's like a skill tree where you are literally learning spells, and you can, like, when you get your points, you can literally unlock brand new spells to do. I know I saw somebody say, like, in the, like, a Slytherin, or even if you're just evil, because I wonder about that too. If you're a Gryffindor, can you still be evil? That's a question I just literally thought of. But, you know, if there's like an evil skill tree with the spells, say, like, is Avada Kedavra like the last spell that you can unlock, and you have to, you know, get all of these different skills? and you have to complete all these different things. It'll be interesting to see how it goes, but I think for wands, 
How they look is very, very important. So giving us options in the beginning is important. I would even say giving us options through the game, and that's how I want to bring in the Elder Wand, by the way, because maybe like you can find a wand, maybe you can steal somebody's wand, maybe you can go out and buy a wand that's maybe... I mean, if you want to think about it, and you want to maybe compare it to like an Avengers or any kind of like looter, where you, or like, you know, a gear-based thing, maybe you can just walk into Ollivander's and say, you know, halfway through the game and say, my wand's not cutting it, I need a more powerful wand. You can maybe earn it in certain ways, but you're like, no, I just, I have a lot of money, I've accumulated money, I just want to buy one. And then you go in and you look at all the different options at your disposal, they all have their own kind of, uh, like, charms, which is honestly how I'm looking at it. Like, I think they'll each look different. I think they'll have probably, they could have, like, slots attached to them where it's like, oh, this one has, uh, like, this kind of, like, uh, you know, animal skin, like, attached to it, so that makes it more, uh, you know, like, it, it increase is some sort of, you know, whatever. It's hard to say because, again, as I've said, I'm getting better with my knowledge of Harry Potter, but I don't know everything about it. But I think you guys can generally, uh, uh, I think, tell what I'm trying to say. I want the looks to be different. I want every wand to look different. And I think they're all going to be attached with some sort of buffer, like a bonus to, to each one. So if I have a wand that's just one wand and you have another one, maybe I'm better at levitation spells and maybe you're better at uh, disarming spells. You know what I mean? I'm just giving an example, but that's something Thing that I think they could easily do. And then, like I said, beginning of the game, you do that. And then throughout the game, maybe there's ways of upgrading your wand, getting a better wand, buying it, stealing, you know, however you want to do it. I think that's how the game should go. Very, very important to so just have one wand through the entire game makes no sense. If you think about it, you have, like, uh, another example, even, like, these Warner Bros. games, right? Gotham Knights. I mean, what it seems like is you're going to be able to switch out, like, utility belt. You're going to be able to switch out, like, your gloves, so, like, your your actual, like, physical attacks. You, you know, things that are going to have, like, an impact on your game. Again, you look at Avengers and you swap out, like, gear. Well, in Harry Potter, in this Hogwarts Legacy game, what, are you going to swap out your your, uh, your robe? You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to, you're going to, like, if you have glasses or not? Like, that's not, like, there, again, there's going to be a lot of customization, I'm sure, and maybe there's things that you can even like wear that maybe that gives uh, you know, give you kind of bonuses but I mean think about the one thing that you have in in this lore of, of the wizarding world is your wand so the wand is going to be very important you'd have to think that there's several different tiers of wands you probably will start at like a lower tier and you can only pick from a certain group but then as the game progresses you can probably get better wands now the thing is like the, you're supposed to kind of keep the wand for the whole time. That's the issue. And I know I waited, you know, seven minutes in to talk about that. I get that. You know, generally the wand does have a very, very special connection to you. So maybe you can alter it. I mean, I do. It is altering your wand a thing you can do in the Wizarding World. I feel like it, it is right. So maybe that's the way. If they want to stay very specific to the Wizarding World, then yeah. You normally do keep your wand unless something goes very, very bad with it. Maybe there's certain sections in the game where the wand breaks or something and you have to get a new wand. You know, very early, especially like the Harry Potter movies, they stressed how important wands were. And the Elder Wand, you know, towards the end, definitely kind of wrapped that up with how important a wand is to a person. But generally, there were a lot of swapping of wands and it didn't really seem like the biggest deal, even though it was made a big deal early on. So final thing, I want to talk about the Elder Wand really, really quickly. So here's the deal. I know people said, you know, that would be pretty darn difficult. That would be something uh, very, very interesting uh, to have, like whether or not it's just a flat out no or it's a flat out yes. Look, the Elder Wand, I do think is possible. Now here's the, there's good and bad. Okay, uh, Grigorovich, he had the wand and from everything I can tell, he seemingly had the wand from like the start of the 1900s. He could have had it in the very late 1800s, uh, but there's a lot of confusion. And by the way, that is why I think there is a possibility here. There's a lot of confusion as to what the heck was going on with the Elder Wand. We had Loxias, hopefully I'm saying that name right, and he was a pretty evil guy guy there were, and I guess even in like the Harry Potter uh, you know wiki or the, the you know the wizarding world according to Dumbledore many claim to have finished him off including his own mother so that's for sure there's actual story there and then we have Arcus and Livius uh, and it's either one it's one or the other one of these two actually had the wand and then it went to Grigorovich and then from there it was pretty darn easy uh, Grindelwald literally like stole it from his like bedroom at night and obviously you know it went on from there to Dumbledore to, to Malfoy and so on so so, uh, you know, it has a pretty clear path towards the end. But in the middle period here, especially again, if we're talking late 1800s, 
it, there could, I mean, one of these two, this Arceus or Livius, could very well have the wand. And considering there's confusion even as to who got it from Loxius, or again, hopefully I'm saying all these names right, you can see how basically I'm trying to make a, a, a moment to put you in. Now, here's the issue. In order to get the wand, if you are having the wand, you either would have to have, ki and, and now again, it seems like that Loxius was actually killed. So you probably didn't do that. So that's not you. Uh, and then again, it went to one of these two. Now you could have disarmed them. You could have stolen it from them. There are ways of getting it, uh, you know, to you. But then the issue is. Grigorovich got it next, so you would have had to have lost it. Is the biggest thing. Uh, like it would have been, it would be cool to have. It'll be cool if you're able to use it, and it's just like the most power. It'll be cool if it's like an Easter egg, like you hear about it, or maybe even you see it for some strange reason, right? Uh, but in all reality, in order to get it. You have, to, I mean, you, that's got to be something pretty darn special that would have happened in general, right? So you had to have either, either stolen it or killed somebody or disarmed them or literally just robbed it from them. I mean, I guess there's ways, but then, again, the flip side is you also would have had to have that happen to you. Like, Grigorovich would have needed to get it from you, so he either would have needed to kill you, rob you, you know, steal from you, you know, whatever. So that's the issue. I would love to have the Elder Wand in. I think when you think about, again, all these different tiers of wands, I mean, to think about possessing the Elder Wand in this game. I mean, that would be an insanely, insanely cool thing. I just don't think it's very light. I think it's possible. I really, really do. I mean, to throw like a curveball at us, I think it's possible. I do not think it's very likely. Uh, may, again, maybe like an Easter egg, like maybe we hear about it. Maybe somebody talks about who actually is in possession of it at the given time. Maybe we see it for some, but again, how do we see it? There's really no way we see it unless these two, which are not in Hogwarts at the time, unless they like, make a special like like a field trip to Hogwarts, then it's not happening, okay? So, I mean, there are some issues there for sure, but I think the Elder Wand, I mean, I'm not ruling it out. I'm absolutely not ruling the Elder Wand out. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What do you think about the wands? How do you want them to work, the customization, the looks, all that stuff? Let me know about the Elder Wand in the comments below. Again, as I said in the beginning, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon. Make sure you guys are joining our Discord server. Link for that's in the description below. More Hogwarts Legacy videos. I'm having truly out of all the videos i do i really do feel like these are my favorite to record i'm having an absolute blast you guys are very much it seems like you guys are liking these videos a lot I'm gonna keep going two to three a week easily and then we're just gonna pick it up from there as the game comes out got some interesting talk on a release date possibility some things i do want to get into uh, over the coming weeks and so we will okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next video